The Dana Open heads into its final day tomorrow, crowning one pro woman golfer. Our Trent Croce spoke to one course owner who says the tournament's end can lead to more people hitting the links. Trent, what did he say the impacts are from tournaments like this? Well, Kaylee, he said that the impacts are pretty big, just like the women who are vying for the $1.75 million purse this weekend, but also for the young children who say, hey, I want to try that out too. And the owner of Corey Ridge down the road from the open says it does just that. Take a look. And what we've seen over the last 16 years is the growth right after the tournament. People get excited about the game and they come out. The Corey Ridge Golf Course is just miles down the road from the annual Dana Open. Its owner, Mark Augustiniak, says many children come out after watching these pro women compete. They'll come out, the girls will come out all dressed up in, you know, their little short skirts and stuff like that. The Dana Open may be girls only, but the boys want to be like their idols too. The boys the same thing. They have all their, you know, Ricky Fowler stuff and, and uh, so it really is kind of neat to see him come out and play. The tournament was pushed back to fit with other LPGA tournaments from its usual mid-July date. Augustiniak says this may actually keep the momentum going for the young golfers. Hopefully within this next month, usually it's a slower time, starts to slow down a little bit. Hopefully with this tournament here, it'll keep it, it'll keep it going. But it's not just now where families come out to Corey Ridge. It's really a family affair all year round. We get a lot of families here, mainly kids, and then the kids bring the parents. The COVID pandemic changed a lot, one being the game of golf for the better. Augustiniak says being outside in a spread out golf course like his, keeping other players distance from one another can be to thank, and the numbers show. We probably um, went up 50 to 60 percent um, in numbers of players and things. He says his course isn't the only one in the area experiencing the impacts. Other country clubs and courses he's talked to are too. So more of these kids can come out swinging. Well, Augustiniak says leagues and golf camps are over. Kids can still register for lessons at Corey Ridge. And in the winter, they can take advantage of one of the only heated driving ranges in the area. Live in the studio, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.